what's up you guys, this is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on The Snapshot, we'll be taking a look at the Psychron and asking one very important question. Does having a never-ending load justify only being able to perform for seconds at a time? Now, you can pick up the Psychron's blueprints in the Corpus Lab of your clan dojo, but only once you've completed your research on the Spectra. Now, the wiki does say it takes Mastery Rank 9 to craft, which completely confuses the shit out of me because this is a terrible weapon. However, if for some reason, after my glowing endorsement, you still feel the need to have this ASAP, you can always pick it up in the market pre-built along with a weapon slot and catalyst for 200 plat. Now all weird mechanics aside, at its core the Psychron is a heat based continuous fire weapon that emits a 20 meter beam. Its status chance per second does look substantial sitting at 30% but as we know status per second doesn't really perform as well as the numbers imply. It's also got a low critical chance sitting at 5% with an equally underwhelming multiplier. Its only saving grace is the fact that its base damage combined with its fire rate make for a decent burst damage. However, its 5 second reload speed completely kills its sustainability. Now for a little bit of funsies, I actually went ahead and took a look at the unmodded sustained damage of several popular secondaries. The Euphona Prime set at 441, the Axolotl at 245, the Pandero at 240, the Atmos at 213, whilst the Cycron made it in 130. 36.6. And without the supplemental stats to cause any damage spikes, it definitely pales in comparison. However, what the Psychron lacks in damage, it does make up for in interestingness? First and foremost, the beam will always apply the heat status and work similarly to the Acrid. Anytime its status chance does not trigger one of the effects from the equipped elements, a heat proc will be applied. The only downside to this is the fact that heat procs do not stack, but only refresh the effect. And its most notable quirk is the fact that the Psychron does not need ammo, but instead regenerates ammo after 5 seconds of not being used. A couple things to note about this is the fact that the delay can be offset with reload mods, you can't manually trigger a reload, shooting whilst in the middle of the reload spool up will cause the reloading to stop, preventing you from getting back up to max ammo, and for those of you paying close attention, there is an audio cue as to when it runs out of ammo, and another cue when it begins reloading. Now as for the build, you can see that I've got all of the basics down, I've also tossed on a couple status and elemental mods to kind of bump up the status because legitimately that's like the only supplemental stat that's halfway decent for you to work with. Um, I've been playing around with a couple different combinations just to see exactly what works and to be honest with you the Psychron really cannot get there into the high levels so I just decided to make a build that would work for like average star chart runs because that's really the only place that I could see this weapon performing well in. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that performs. Now at its top end, like I said earlier, this is not going to see much play outside of the star chart. Um, when it came down to the build, what I really went ahead and did is I actually tried out a bunch of different combinations to see if I could improve this at all and legitimately this feels like this is as good as it's going to get. As you can see right now, there are a lot of starts and stops waiting for this thing to reload just to try to be able to get a kill in on a level 80 and legitimately this is as good as I could possibly get it. I will make note of one thing however, it does actually perform halfway decently against Corpus targets. Alright now as you can see I've actually gone ahead and pulled out a level 145 for this and swapping over to gas this thing is actually halfway decent when it comes to Corpus but as you can see we always have to wait for that wind up to get back into doing damage. And if I'm going to be 100% real with you, I feel like there are a bunch of other weapons that could do the exact same thing. But it does have a cool sound effect though. Okay, so after 3 Forma, I have to be completely honest with you, I feel like the Psychron is like an inside joke that I just don't get and I've been struggling to get this whole time. I'm like, okay, it's got some cool new mechanics behind it. Maybe I missed out on something. I'm just not getting the punchline. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, maybe there's a mod that is supposed to make this super, super powerful. I mean, this thing looks so badass and so cool that it really should be able to kick butt, right? Aside from that, I just kind of feel like it falls a bit short. Now, of course, this does follow up the spectra when it comes to research, so maybe that that's kind of like one of the reasons it sucks, but it is Mastery Rank 9, so part of me is just like crying out, did you miss something? Did you miss the inside joke? Is it, it just, has it just gone completely over your head? Because that's the current state that I am with the Psychron. However, at face value, where I'm sitting with it right now, I'm not too impressed. Um, however, I'll let you guys take a look at that for yourself. I'm sure a couple of you guys have some research days still left on this. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into gameplay, but when it boils down to the facts, that's it. So if that's all you're here for, I'll see you guys next time. 
Aside from that, I'll see you in the gameplay. Alright, so I'm kind of sad because of the fact that the weapon looks so gosh darn cool and that it has some really, really neat mechanics to it and it's just not, like, doing a thing. It just doesn't feel all that great to use. There's a lot of starts and stops to combat and, I mean, for the star chart, pretty much it's not bad. It's not terrible, it's just not amazing. If, you know, if we're gonna be real, like, you constantly have to like gauge you constantly have to gauge like all right how much ammo do i have to left you have to listen into the music i mean it's good you're paying attention and all that kind of stuff however um like realistically this thing it's just it's just because of the fact that you can't like i'm so used to being able to manually reload so in between fights i can go ahead and reload things and because of the fact that this is kind of like a beam weapon it's like a single target weapon right um, it's not doing like crazy AoE damage where you can kind of say, alright, well I've cleared out like the entire room, so it's okay if it takes me uh, a long time to recharge my weapon. You know, if it takes me a minute to go ahead and recharge it, it's no big deal because it's cleared out a lot. However, in this case, it's like a single target beam weapon, and it just doesn't feel like... It's got some oomph when it comes to the burst, but its sustain is just absolutely terrible. And that's the thing, is like most beam weapons are made for really, really good sustain. Um, and this just doesn't feel like it. It does, the one thing that I will say that it has in its corner is the fact that it is a single, um, it is a single elemental uh, base damage, which means that, you know, when it procs status, it's gonna proc uh, statuses fairly consistently, so if you've only got like one or two statuses equipped on it, um, you, you know, you can, you can expect, you can expect specific results. I actually played around with a couple different builds on this where I didn't put any fire mods in, um, because I just wanted, you know, it to solely be, I wanted it to solely be basically just like a status based, um, uh, you know, a corrosive based kind of like, damage output. That's kind of like what I wanted to see if I could do for it was really really force that corrosive status. However, it just did not work out very well whatsoever. And big bummer when you go ahead and, you know, when you're trying to when you're trying to finish off an enemy and you're like, "Oh, I just need like a couple shots left on him." and you like stop halfway, it doesn't keep recharging. At least it doesn't seem to keep recharging for me. It seems to like stop at whatever whatever total you've currently got and then that's practically it and so what ends up happening is you don't get the full recharge on it which kind of penalizes you even further for for its small for its small magazine capacity and its long reload right it's it's just kind of like oh my god we need we need to be able to put out damage more consistently and more often but it's just not something that the weapon can do which makes me really 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 sad it's just kind of like ridiculously frustrating um because because a part of me looks at it and I'm like I like the mechanics the mechanics are so cool they're so different um, they really you know bring some interesting gameplay into it you're like oh well I don't have any mechanics but I do have to kind of like mod for for ammo capacity and all that however it just does not feel like it works in a mastery rank 9 weapon should be pretty good and maybe that's an issue too is kind of like mastery rank is a little bit abstract you know mastery rank we've got some weapons that are mastery rank that are uh mastery rank like nine or higher that are really really good we've got some that are kind of utter crap so it's kind of like all right well what does a weapons mastery rank really mean for it to do because a mastery rank nine performing at the level that this performs at i'm really really disappointed and i'm like crossing my fingers that they either buff it or they do something to it statistically to make it more interesting like, I'd be cool if this thing had, like, a, you know, a 300% status chance, or, like, you know, like, the, the status per second's, like, if this, if this could somehow find a way to make status per second good, like, if it showed off it was the first weapon that did a 100, when I say 100% status per second, I mean, like, 100% as in, like, every single tick it can actually apply that status that second, that would be kind of awesome. However, as it currently stands, it just falls a bit flat. There's a lot of stops and starts in it. You have to gauge a lot of your combat. Um, this might be a cool weapon when we get dual wielding, when you have like a pistol in one hand and you have a weapon in, in like a melee weapon in the other, and then you can kind of cycle between both when it's during it, one of its downtimes. But honestly, for me, Mastery Rank 9, um, a really, really cool model, some really interesting mechanics. 
just does not warrant this kind of disappointment. Um, that's exactly how it feels. It feels like, ah, oh, everything is so cool. Everything is so interesting. It's, you know, a high mastery rank weapon or a high-ish mastery rank weapon. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't have the oomph that it should or could have, especially looking as good as it does. Um, but that's my current stance on it. Let me know if maybe I missed anything. Like I said, I was like, I felt like this was a bad inside joke that I just did not get. So if there's something that I missed in the mechanics that would make this an amazing weapon, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but for now, as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch yo body. I will see you guys next time. It is really cold right now. I feel like super shivery. Bye-bye. <laughs>